everyone. Welcome back to the lore. Whisper, 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 whisper. Today we will be playing some Minecraft. And this will be a survival, uh, non-peaceful playthrough. Our other series is a peaceful mode, which is fun, but I like the challenge of having some mobs in the game too. So this will be a separate one than that. Uh, I saw that recently Minecraft had put out the Caves and Cliffs, I think it is, update. Uh, the part two of it, which is really interesting. I always loved the idea of the caves and they always felt bland and lifeless. So I'm really glad that they're doing something with that. That said, I'm definitely wanting to create more of a sort of dwarf playthrough, like a dwarf from Lord of the Rings or the Forgotten Realms, where we create an underground base or create a mountain base, um, something to that effect. I haven't really looked into what new mobs there are or anything like that, so we'll definitely be looking at discovering a bit more. Uh, what new items there are and things of that nature in this uh, new update. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The difficulty we could go hard mode, but then I feel like a lot of the mobs will just get in the way. I I'm assuming hard mode just either increases the mobs health or the amount of mobs. So for that reason, we'll go normal mode just to make it a nice moderate amount. And we can still do a lot of building and things like that without being hassled too much. And in survival mode, eventually we will do a hardcore mode. That'll be a fun one. And let's go ahead and name our world. I haven't put too much forethought into what the name of the world should be. So let's go with... Maybe lore world. That works. I don't have to worry about any of these extras. No cheats or nothing like that. Let's go ahead and get started and hope for a good spawn. Alright. So here we are. And this looks to be... I believe this is the savannah. I think that's the name of this biome. There's already a wildfire breaking out. That's fun. Okay, so let's get down here. Oh, um, I do remember seeing this. This is um, copper, I believe. Pretty sure it's copper. sound of punching the uh, different trees and things, just those wood sounds. <laughs> One thing I learned from the previous playthrough is to turn the music in this game down. Last video, when I uh, I was in that desert biome. The uh, music I had to go and edit, and uh, uh, like after the video was made, edit it down. I didn't realize how loud it was at the time of playing. And I'm a little dwarf character here, as you see. So yeah, definitely learn to turn the music down. That way I don't have to go in post-edit and play around with finding a decent volume of the music. Let's get a little pickaxe going here. And then we'll just start stone tools right away. Bad 
spider. Bad. 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 There we go. It's alright, guys. We're good now. That spider should try to jump us, but we're fine. I don't know um, if any of you may know this, but figure out when it comes to Minecraft videos because I do like playing this game a lot. Uh, my I can't get my aspect ratio to present properly in um, my editing software. Like I'm recording right now and uh, boy I can't remember what it is actually without leaving the game but it's like nine I don't know it's like one six six zero by whatever or something like that. I can't figure it out though. So if any of you know anything about aspect ratios and how to get it so that the movie, or the video rather, in YouTube isn't bordered by the um, two black bars on the side of it, let me know. I tried Googling it, couldn't really find the answer I was looking for though. I use iMovie as my editing software. I know that's kind of like a silly thing to use, but it's what I got for right now. So, okay, let's go ahead and grab us a stone pickaxe and we'll grab a stone axe and a sword and why not we'll grab a shovel too and you know what i have a feeling we'll probably need another stone pickaxe and we'll eventually need a oh you can make a candle that's pretty cool Eventually, we'll need to make a furnace. So, let's go ahead and use up this wooden pickaxe first. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like wood's gonna mine that. I wish that, um, for example, that spider that we just killed. I really wish that we could tame them uh, the same way you would like a an ocelot or a wolf, right? I wish you could tame, you know, some of the other creatures that aren't too commonly seen as friendly, like the spiders. Like maybe in the daytime, when you run into a spider outside, how they're docile, um, perhaps you can find a way to befriend them and then have them as a pet, you know? I'm sure there's a bunch of mods out there that let you do something like that. But I just think that'd be a cool thing to have in-game. I don't remember what the loom does. I think that's just for creating a job for a villager, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's go ahead, grab our furnace. And we'll keep that in our inventory for now. Alright, I don't want this to be a big cave expedition video, but... Well, actually, I guess I do it is the caves and cliffs update so let's gather some of this copper up let's see if I can spot any kind of any kind of coal just another spider this too actually I'm thinking about this is that glow uh, glow uh, moss kind of like a lichen did I see a pig down here
one thing I remember from when I used to play this game a lot is, um, well, first I like to keep a little bit more of an order to my, my stuff here. So I normally would go, I'm trying to remember actually, it was like pickaxe here, weapon here, and then, or no, I would keep something else here, not the weapon. It's like pickaxe, weapon, that, that, blocks here, oh, that's right, torches. And then eventually get like a water bucket and, you know, kind of move from there. when I'm exploring down like a cave system I like to keep them on the left side as I'm moving forward all right so let's grab some more of this coal and then we'll do a little search for iron if we don't find any that's okay Some more of that copper. It's already nighttime outside, and it looks like we found a ravine which is possibly good and bad. Good because we can get deeper, faster, find things like diamonds. Bad because, well, a creeper can fall on your head. Oh, this might not be a ravine, actually. No. This is a weird little cave formation. I always love the sound of lava in this game. It's just so peaceful. some cover. Oh boy. This is not ideal. Yep. Ow. 
It's not the best position to be in. <laughs> Looks like we're roughing it tonight. And I guess my assumption on normal and hard was not accurate. few mobs out there. On, a, on the plus side though, it is a nice peaceful night outside. The moon looks fantastic. So, as I was hiding out here, I just got shot by a skeleton a couple of times, and things are not looking great. There's a creepy little enderman right there. I don't think it registers if I look at him through the leaves, but I'm also not trying to test it too much. <laughs> I I was silly from going out of that cave. I should have just stayed down there. Let's see if I can make something happen. Oh, wait. Okay. So we got a little sunrise. It's actually quite beautiful. They did a real nice job with that. I do love looking at um, some of the Minecraft, like lighting mods, water mods, all those things. I would definitely use that, but my MacBook Air is not really designed too much for gaming. So eventually, you know, when I become like uh, an official YouTuber, right? <laughs> um, eventually, when I start making some money off of this, as a way to fund and support the channel even more so. I'll definitely invest in getting a real gaming PC or even having one made. Um, you know, maybe even by somebody on the channel or, you know, what have you. But we'll definitely get a real gaming PC that can handle those kinds of things. My MacBook Air can handle it, but I would need to, I would need to put a lot into it, like as far as I have, like, below my MacBook currently a, um, I guess you can call it, like, a gaming fan table kind of thing. And I would normally run it when I'm playing games like Minecraft, because my MacBook heats up real quick. But it's pretty loud. Um, I might even eventually have to run it for one of these videos, uh, cause like my MacBook right now when I'm feeling it, it's pretty warm. And so I'm, I might have to eventually work on a way to get the fan running underneath it. Maybe by using one of my keyboards to extend it out so it's not so close to the mic. And then I can run it and as it's running, it won't sound so loud for the microphone. And then I can have better frames and things like that. Because right now, like even as I'm walking here, um, I'm dropping frames. Like you can probably see that happening. Yeah, let's see. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I think if I'm 
I'm gonna do future playthroughs of, um, well, rather, when I do future playthroughs of this, and it playing for any more than 30 minutes, definitely gonna have to find a way to run that fan underneath the MacBook. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go back to the crafting table we had set up before, which should be there. And now let's just set up a little base of operations down here. be a good place to start at least. Alright. Let's just kind of do one of these. We'll put like a door. I don't know. Great there. so worried about that right now. Okay. And now we'll get some food cooking and And I think you pronounce it Isia, or I'm not sure. I have to look it up. A nice little see-through door that is going to be helpful. Okay, now the next thing we're going to need is a chest but I'm not planning really on staying here so what I am going to do is grab some more wood normally what I would do is stay in one place wait until I get some iron and then start heading out from there, you know. But I feel like being adventurous. So let's go ahead, just gather up a little bit of that. A little bit of that. more blocks on our way out. Oh nice, we got some more coal too. That is a great find. I know I said it in my last video too of the peaceful mode, but I just absolutely love like mining coal. <laughs> Which makes sense, right? I'm from Scranton, so that's kind of our thing. At least it was for a long time. Uh, but yeah, I, I love mining coal just because it's satisfying just kind of digging it all out of there. You know, getting a whole vein of it and just mining every last part. I don't know. Something about that. Makes the happy chemicals in my brain come out, you know? Alright. Let's get out of here. Did I 
right, right by crafting table. Yeah. Do I have enough wool to make a bed? Yeah. Let's do that real quick. sun rose over there and that's the east right which makes that the west which makes that the north not that it really matters in terms of minecraft but it's good to know all right looks like we have ourselves a new biome over there, possibly a mountain one, which is what I'm currently looking for. Seems that we might have picked up an egg too. Alright, we got some pumpkins. And these pumpkins are gonna definitely come in handy. when we get some shears going we can make ourselves a little pumpkin helmet which is always fun and we can make ourselves an iron golem too that'll be fun actually we can make i like this idea we can make a like a dwarven fortress kind of a deal oh we found a village that's pretty pretty lucky we can make ourselves a dwarven fortress kind of a deal and then within that fortress we can have like iron golems and that'd be kind of fitting for you know kind of like oblivion right how they used the um different machines to protect them even though dwarves in that game are really just underground elves uh, this is a very nice village okay to check this place out. And actually, I think this is going to be where I end today's video. I'm going to have to figure out, as I said, I'll, I'll figure out offline or off camera how to fix the MacBook heating issue. And that way we could do some longer playthroughs this game because I really do enjoy it. But yeah, yeah, it's not dark and scary at all. Oh, I like this house a lot up here. themselves a nice little view of everything well this is it for tonight friends so just want to thank you for tuning in and hanging out with me for a while I'll probably sleep over here in the corner and as the sun setting <laughs> and as that villager is providing some jump scares i'm sure and as the sun's setting i just want again thank you all so much for all your time all your support and i look forward to doing the next video with you all until next time friends have a great morning or afternoon or evening and most importantly I hope you sleep well.